Lincoln. Welcome to M Music Monday. It's so great to see you again. We're your anchors, Mary and Haley. This is our last school Monday of the year. Wow. Did you know there are only four days till Christmas break? The holidays are right around the corner. Coming up in our exciting news for today, we'll take a look at news about girls' basketball tryout tonight. The first DC bus is full. We are so close to being able to order a second bus. If you are wanting caramel corn, better hurry. News about wrestling here at Lincoln. Don't leave yet, just yet, because we'll be right back with fantastic Red Storm news. And we begged her not to go, but she forgot her medication, and she staggered through the door out in the snow. When we found her Christmas morning at the scene of the attack. She had hoof prints on her forehead and incriminating claws marks on her back. Grandma got run over by. Isn't our show just so cool? Yeah, we know. If there is something you would like to change about our show, tell us, we will listen. Our contact information can be found on the LJH Digital Storm website. Today is the last day to order your combo corn. Get your orders in now. Do you want to go to DC and haven't gotten a hold of Classic Tours yet? You better do it soon. They need to reach 70 people for the second bus by the middle of January. We only need 12 more, so you better get your spot reserved soon. You don't want to miss out on this trip where you will have a wonderful experience with your fellow classmates. Today, for Music Monday, we have a very special video for you guys. A band named North Pole plays popular Christmas songs on iPads, iPhones, and iPods. Let's take a look. North Point. That was such a great video. Yeah, it was. Now it's time for our corner guy Blake for our most incredible Red Storm sports and lunch. Thanks guys. Before I start, thanks guys. Before I start, I'm loving our sponsor, Beacon Credit Union. I'm saving your money today for a free vacation tomorrow. Wrestling practice will begin after Christmas vacation. The first practice will be after school on Tuesday, January 6th. You must have an, uh, you must have an athletic physical insurance information and a signed code of conduct card. See Miss Gilbert or Mr. Shively if you have any questions. Just a reminder that girls basketball tryouts are after school. If you have any questions, please contact Miss Gilbert. The seventh grade Red Storm fought through two missing players, a tough physical game, and an off-shooting night to defeat Rochester 30-26. The eighth grade boys basketball team defeated Rochester last Thursday by a score of 52-16. Their record now stands at 11-2.
The boys are back in action Monday when they travel to Triton. For lunch tomorrow, our amazing Lincoln lunch ladies have been busy preparing for you a warm and delicious jaw-dropping meal of the best hot dog on the planet, baked fries, carrots and ranch, your, your choice of fruit, and, and Bessie's best milk, cooled to perfection just for you. Take a look out outside the weather window. M M Michigan Weather Center predicts the high will be in the high 40s. Wow, it sure, sure doesn't seem like winter. The low will be in the high 30s. There's a 20% chance of rain. Uh, too, too bad there isn't any snow coming our way. Another thanks to our sponsors, B B Beacon Credit Union, where they are there for you and your families. Today we have one birthday, Jonathan Dowell, and we had three birthdays over the weekend. Lucas Mike School, Haley Van Blaircom, and our very own Alexis Tomlin. Happy birthday from all of us here at PTV2. We hope you had a fantastic day. Taking a look at the wide, wide world around us, we, ha we have seen that Cody Townsend, a pro skier, is flying down an insane ski slope. Let's take a look at this amazing feature. What you're about to see is no mere ski slope. This is a man-eating crevice. Ooh, I'm getting nervous. And 31-year-old Cody Townsend is about to descend. There was no exit plan. There was no escape. The plunge down this Alaskan crevice lasted about 15 seconds. At its narrowest point, the walls were only six feet apart. Check out the helmet cam view. Top speed, 65 to 70 miles per hour. You see that you're going really fast. You see that the, the walls are really close to you. But Cody says he was very zen. It's almost as if time slows down. Holy Cody's run makes James Bond's exploits on skis look almost wimpy. Child's play compared to this. So a crevice like that must have a terrifying name, right? Uh, yeah, it does have nicknames, but I uh, would blush if I had to tell you what the nicknames were. Cody's run won him Powder Magazine's Best Line of 2014 award. So psyched. His fellow skiers gushed. That was the sickest line I've ever seen! The trickiest part was at the end of the narrowest section, where there was a slight turn. Possibly the turn of my life to not hit the wall that was in front of you. So what's he get? Great exposure in a Red Bull documentary, the kind of fame that leads to even more endorsements, but cash? I just assumed they gave you a chunk of money to do that. That would be morally wrong to do that, I think. Um, no, we do it. We do it because we love it. You think that's scary to watch? Imagine Cody's mother the first time she saw it. She did cry, which I kind of felt bad about. Cody didn't celebrate by partying. He contemplated accomplishing a life goal while taking in an Alaskan blood moon. So I just kind of sat there and basked in it. Better a blood moon than a bloody wreck. Oh my God. Jeannie Mo, CNN. That was the scariest thing I've That was truly ever amazing. I would be scared out of my mind if I'd do that. So let's see what we have learned today. Karma corn sales have started. Today is the last day to get your orders in before it's too late. The first DC bus is full, so whoever wants to go better get your reservation in soon so we can order that second bus. Girls basketball tryouts start tonight. Wrestling practice start on Tuesday, January 6th. For your viewers who are counting down to our longest break of the school year, we only have four more days until Christmas break. I'm so excited, but sad because it is almost the third and we won't have this class anymore. I know, right? That about wraps it up for Music Monday. Before we let you guys go, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Beacon Credit Union, guiding the way to the future. When we found her Christmas morning At the scene of the attack She had hoof prints on her forehead